Hi, I'm Elina. I'm founder of Freelance Business Community. And Freelance Business Month is our annual initiative targeting independent professionals around the globe. Um, this uh, event was happening for four consecutive years. And this year has been slightly difficult for me to launch something like this because in my family, my dad was fighting with pancreatic cancer. Uh, and that was taking all the headspace that I had. Uh, at some point, I was thinking I'm going to even cancel it uh, because we never knew how you know how long it will take for my dad to to fight this disease. Unfortunately, we knew that diagnosis is very bad. Um, and regrettably, when my dad passed away much sooner than we expected, I just couldn't help thinking like would he like me to cancel something that I've been working on for so long, knowing that he's been fighting probably the hardest fight in his life. Um, and believe it or not, when I was, you know, standing at his grave, I'm like, absolutely not. He would not like me to cancel it. He would like me to do something good with it. An idea came to my mind that I, because of the exposure that I have already and because of my connections that I have in the freelance world, I could turn this event as a charity and raise awareness about this devastating disease because what I learned through the journey with my dad is that how little information we have, how little understanding we have, anything what concerns cancer. Um, and as a matter of fact, cancer is quite, um, quite spread. Lots of people getting this disease at certain stage of life. Unfortunately, my friend and good colleague also passed away this year from cancer. So a combination of all these events and uh, my desire to make, to influence the change, to make a change for others, um, made me decide to do this as a charity event and collaborate with Pancreas Cancer Europe in order to help to spread awareness of this disease. I'm trying to pass the message to people out there, <laughs> just in very basic terms. I, I'd like them to know that, um, you know, it can affect anyone. From one day to another, you can get this bad news. And I don't want to be dramatic right now or negative, but it just uh, attention to yourself, to your body symptoms can, can be sometimes a game changer. For example, in our case, dad been suffering from certain symptoms for a long time. Um, and unfortunately, even doctors didn't want to pay attention to that. Uh, it's been a, a long uh, journey of almost eight months going from one to another, trying to figure out what's wrong uh, when, you know, precious time was lost. Um, uh, it's paying attention to yourself. It's paying attention to your closest ones and ring the bell as soon as possible when you uh, experience un unexplained fatigue, uh, back pain, abdominal pain, um, weight loss, uh, just generally getting very moody and depressive. So it's it's a, it's a, one of the first signals to go to doctor and say, hey, can we look into that? Especially if you have a family heritage, like in my family, for example. Um, and there are certain tests you can do to, uh, to maybe explore first things, like blood tests on certain uh, tumor markers or ultrasound that you can do. So I, I want people to know that you can save yourself from it. This is one. Second, what I discovered is lack of treatment uh, and lack of awareness of the doctors as well uh, on that. But if you're focusing on lack of treatments, I would just love to see solutions on the market. I know there are some trials going on right now, but when a person is in a condition as my dad, which he was already weak, no clinical trials are available. So there is no way you can even have a hope. The only hope you, you know you have is just to wait that you have a little bit longer with him. So I hope uh, you know it can provoke certain things to think about um, sorry, I'll rephrase. I hope it will provoke people to think about uh, solutions, to have more discoveries, more research in that field. Um, and so that in the future, um, patients have more solutions.